Talking just because I'm in the process of moving right now, and on top of that, I'm sick, so it's probably annoying you hear my voice all nasally. So, um, I'll try to make this as fast as I can. But your girl is moving into her new house this weekend, so I just want to give y'all a walk through my new place. Um, this right here, these desk, um. The people who lived here before, they said that I can keep them. I don't know if I want to keep them or not just because when me and my friend were moving them, we kind of broke them. I may refurbish it, I don't know, and paint it a different color, I don't know, but I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, this is the closet space. Like I said, the people who lived here before, I'm not even going to show y'all that room because they said they were going to pick up their stuff um, along with right here. They were going to pick up their stuff a little bit later. Um, <clears throat> I said it was okay that they can keep their stuff here just because I'm not using, well, this is a three bedroom and I'm not using one room for sure. So this is a laundry room and <clears throat> this is gonna be a kitchen. Well, it is the kitchen, it's not gonna be. Lots of space. This is the headboard that I made. Um, you can't really see the true color, but it's gold, golden green. And so, um, and it got a little glitter to it as well. We actually made this from scratch. Like me and Kim, shout out to Kim. Couldn't have done it without you. Um, yeah, so that is my bed. These are the couches that they left for me. I think I'm gonna end up getting new couches just because I want my own. The first thing that I'm gonna do before I move in, I'm gonna sage the whole house. And all that's doing is just, um, I had to stop my gut. I had to stop and get me a smoothie, y'all, uh, but all this is doing is it's clearing out all the previous energy from all the previous owners and i think i'm just gonna like <clears throat> manifest nothing but creativity love and happiness in this house i'm gonna go every single crack and crevice of this house and take my time and make sure that all the past energies are out um so i can move all of my stuff in with clear energy with good energy and go from there. I have officially moved into my new apartment. Um, get all excited, my girl is oh, Let me give y'all like a tour of what it looks like right now. Um, super late, so the line's bad. Y'all can go on this journey with me and decorate my place, my first place. Y'all have my own place. This is going to be the dining area. This is the kitchen. As you can see, your girl already made me some cornbread and um, some, I've been cooking up a storm. Here's the bathroom. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten everything together. I've gotten some stuff together. Y'all know I'm so mad because I cannot stick these on the walls unless I hammer them in there. Like I had these, um, the command strips on the back and listen, the thing just kept falling off the wall right here. It kept falling off the wall over here. And so I was just like, you know what? We just gonna hang it right here until I figure out what to do with it. I think I'm actually gonna um, spray paint this gold is what I'm guessing. Um, I won this at the fair, you know, playing basketball because ball is life. Here's some more storage, all the light bulbs, all that stuff, I'm painting stuff. This room right here. Um, like I said, the previous people who lived here, then they had stored some stuff. When I tell you this whole room was packed, it was packed to like the actual door. And so they finally moved their stuff out yesterday. And so this is what it's looking like. I'm thinking this is definitely going to be like, I don't know, this might be my office room because this is a nice little office space. Um, and I might, because I thought about making this like my meditation room because... I need a space where I can go to and meditate, meditate, meditate. This is my room. I haven't really gotten it together yet. I made this rug by myself. Um, if y'all want a DIY or whatever, let me know. I also made this chair and I redid this desk. I painted it black and then I spray painted the bottom gold. Just because I'm thinking this whole room is going to be black and gold. 
We got the gold drapes. Y'all wanna come shopping with me? I'm gonna go to um, Home Goods and Target and maybe Ikea. I don't know. Cause I still have to cook tonight. So what I'm not liking is the chandelier. Like it's a nice, it's a nice light. It's a nice light. However, it's too low, darling. I'm gonna hit my head. And so, yeah, the TV goes right here. I'm gonna get new couches. Y'all can help me find some new couches as well. Yeah, this is my space. This is my space. This is my, my, my space. This is my space. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, let's go shopping. Let me see. Our girl should be two things classy and fabulous. Ooh, y'all. This is perfect for my meditation room. Like, this is the colors that I wanted it to be anyway. I love this. I might have to get this. I'm getting it. I should have got a cart. So I got me a basket, and I'm really loving this gold shebang, shadig thing going on over here. I'm really loving it. This is definitely going to be for my meditation room. I'm thinking of having, like, a whole bunch of, um... A whole bunch of pillows and stuff in that room and this painting and then it's gonna be I think that just set the standard for what colors I want I think it's gonna be those colors I do like these for the meditation room I think I'm gonna have I don't know if I like these for $15 though. Okay, so for my meditation room, I'm thinking these are gonna be the colors. These are gonna be some pillows that I actually um, sit on or use or whatever. I'm gonna get me a big rug. I just need some furniture and stuff for my meditation room. I think I'm gonna go home, get on the computer and search for, um, and search for some furniture for both rooms. So, guess what came today, y'all? I am so geeked. I, I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Ended up buying a couch online on Facebook from an actual dealer. Like they're like a furniture dealer or something, whatever. And so I bought the couch and it came today. And I'm so excited. Let me show you what it looked like. I have not put it together, but it came in these boxes. And this is kind of what it's looking like. It's like a dark gray. I don't think the camera can show you, but it's like a dark gray. Okay, y'all, so I added the ottoman right there. I don't know if I like it right there, but um, I also added this other light right here. So there's two of them right there. Um, I think I need to change the light bulb in there. It looks a little dead. But... This is what it's looking like right now. Um, I'm definitely getting new accent pillows and I'm definitely gonna throw, yeah, that's the most exciting thing about owning a couch for me, is getting a throw to decorate it. I don't know about y'all, but that's always what I've wanted. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm, I might get some new end tables. I might get an end table for there. I don't know what I'm gonna do right there. It matches my curtains over there, which I'm so happy about. So yeah, I gotta get this trash out. I actually just got done getting a few things for the place. Um, I got um, these chairs to go with this table. I got some end tables to go with my furniture and I got some two yellow pillows to go with them because I hate these. These blue pillows are going in the garbage. But um, Yes, I think I got one too many tables. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them because it's just like, this looks awkward. This looks so awkward. So what do I do? Hmm. These pillows are like a gold mustard color. And so I want, and then I have like brown undertones and stuff like that. And so I really want um, to tie all of these colors together on there. <laughs> And then I'm going to go to Home Depot right now and I'm going to get a bench for right here. Um, it's going to be a yellow, the same color yellow. I'm going to, okay, first off, I'm going to build the, ben the bench from the ground up 
and then I'm gonna put like some yellow fabric or something on it to tie all of this together because there's also yellow in the chairs as well. I'm not sure what I wanna do over here. I'm thinking about just throwing a plant right there and calling it a day. I'm still in these couches, which is why they're still there. I don't even know what I'm gonna put right there. Maybe like, uh, um, what do they call those couch things? Like a couch chair, what are they called? A chase? Yeah, I'm gonna put a chase right there and um maybe like a reading area or something i'm not sure let me know what y'all think okay but anyway i'm about to go to home depot right now because i need to get this stuff i'm finally home and i got a few things from oh i got my wine <laughs> i got a few things from um Ooh, I gotta get some coasters, guys. I also got a few things from Target. This is what I got from Home Depot. Because I'm, I plan on putting a bench together right here, is what I'm gonna do. And then I got this bowl and these flowers. And there's Bay. Ooh, wee. <laughs> All right, these. This ain't like the picture. What? This is better than the one from the picture. Really? Yeah. It's coming together, right? Yeah, yeah. Put some candy in here, man. No, I'm not putting no candy in there. Tootsie Rolls. I'm not, no, don't nobody eat Tootsie Rolls. No. Put the butterscotch candy Ew, in there. Ew, <laughs> so nobody eat it. <laughs> no, lady candy. Last night, I got the bones and stuff to make my own um, bench. And so I went to Joanne Fabrics after that and I didn't find any fabric that actually matched the, the pillows right here. So I think I'm gonna take the pillows back and get um, a different color. I'm gonna pick up the twins um, and hang out with them. We got movie night tonight. Um, Bay is gonna pick up the ground turkey and we're gonna make nachos. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm digging this hair, y'all. The bench is actually done. It's not really done, but it's put together. Um, everything, all the pieces were drilled together. And so the next step is actually sanding it down and adding some stain or some wood stainer. And so. I decided to go with espresso just because that's kind of like the theme in my in my living room. Um, I was gonna do it like this color, but I don't want anything to really match that. I kind of like this whole like dark brown. I'm hoping that this is dark enough. This looks black, but it's like a dark brown chocolate color. I don't know if espresso was the darkest that it gets, but we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna send this down first. And then I'm gonna wipe it down and add my stainer. I don't know if I need any other things before I add the stainer, but this is, you know, a learning process for all of us, more me than you guys. So here we go. <laughs> staple gum broke last night which is why I wasn't able to finish this um, this is what it looks like in the daytime this is the color like the theme in my living room um, so I stained it okay so as soon as I get me a new stapler then I have to staple around this entire edge of the board the bench part um, this is the foam that I basically use for the tuft to part when I flip it around I'm gonna make it a tuft to bench so I decided to add another row, but I really don't think it looks right. <laughs> Keeks, you are failing, girl. Maybe I could add one like right here. I don't know, or some up there. What do y'all think? All right, y'all, so I took the pose and my king's opinion and added another row over here. And it looked lit, it looked lit, oh snaps y'all, this look good.